welcome to competitive engineering in this lecture we are going to some more problems related with matrices and their determinants so in first problem we are going to solve the question which is came in gate 2002 if a equal to 8 x 0 4 0 2 12 6 0 then for which value of x what is the value of x will the matrix given will below become singular means for value which value of x x the matrix A will become singular so what is mean by singular singular means determinant of A equal to 0 if determinant of A equal to 0 then matrix A is called singular so we have to find the value of X for which the mat determinant of A equal to 0 so we are going to solve it I am writing the matrix again a equal to 8 x 0 4 0 2 12 6 0 so the value of determinant we can find the determinant according to the first row first column or any row or in any column so in the third column the va values are 0 2 and 0 so I am finding the determinant the order will be first will be plus sign second will be negative and then plus sign so minus 2 into because 0 into 0 into all these these terms will come because it is multiplied with plus 0 this will be 0 and again when last it is multiplied with 0 so it it will also become 0 so I'm, I have to find only with 2 so minus 2 into this will and this will go 8 into 6 minus 1 into x into 12 12 x equal to determinant e equal to 0 for this what will be the value of x equal to 0 so this equal to 0 this one is equal to 0 so easily I can find 8 into 6 minus 12 x equal to 0 x equal to 8 into 6 divided by 12 so this will go to that is 2 again 8 that is 4 so the value of x equal to 4 I hope it is clear next we are going to solve a problem in if the second problem a is mm, a matrix of order m into m plus 5 and b is of order n into 11 minus n if a b and b a exist then what is the value of m and n this question is not related with determinant it is related with the product of matrices by solving this problem we are going to cover the concept of product of matrices also so to compute the um, product of two matrices to access the product of two matrices if let a be a matrix of order 
a into b it is a non square matrix it is having a rows and b columns and b is a matrix having c into d that is c rows and d columns if a b to exist these should be equal that is b and c should be equal if a b exist it doesn't mean that b a exist to exist b a that is product of b into a that is c into d this is a b and a into b what should be equal these should be equal that is number of uh, columns in the first matrix should be equal to number of rows in the second matrix d should be equal to a okay so what is the idea if the product of two matrix to exist the number of columns of the first matrix column of first matrix it is number should be equal to number of rows of second matrix okay now we are going to the question given a is a m into m plus y matrix and b is a n into 11 minus n matrix a b and b a exist then what is the value of m and n if a and b to be exist a b to be exist then this should be equal to this okay that is number of columns of a should be equal to number of rows of b that is the first criteria first equation we are getting is m plus 5 should be equal to n now we are going back then to exist b a to exist b a i am writing here to exist b a it will be like first we have to write b n into 11 minus n that is the order of b a m into m plus 5 these two should be equal that is second is 11 minus n equal to m okay by solving this two these two we can find out the value of m because we have two unknowns m and n and two equation so we can solve this and we can find the value of m and n so i am substituting the value n equal to m plus y in this equation 11 minus n equal to m plus 5 m plus 5 equal to m that is 11 minus m minus 5 equal to m so i am taking this minus m to this side so it will become 2m equal to 11 minus 5 is 6 that is m equal to 6 by 2 that is 3 so what is the value of n n is equal to m plus 5 that is 3 plus 5 so it is 8 so m is 3 and n is 8 so I hope you understand how to solve this problem this kind of prop this kind of problems are very tricky and you should have better idea regarding this to solve this problem so I am concluding this lecture so practice more more problems and you will get more speed and accuracy so have a nice day